What is going on, guys? This is ITZ Padwani for TGN XP. I'm bringing you some MW3 FFA gameplay. I got my golden PP90 with the specialist layout. Now, here's my question for everybody Do you consider specialists to be in the same line of streaks as strike and support? As everyone else, strike and support are classified as actual kill streaks. But do you classify the strike packages as a kill streak? Yes, I know. In order to get them, you must kill people, so they are a kill streak. That's the math some people will present. But these specialist streaks don't give you benefits as, say, like a predator or a chopper. They don't give you essentially free kills. And all your kills are through weapons, knifing, equipment, whatever. But. Unlike uh, kill streaks, they do give you when you get all eight that uh, feeling of oh my god, I'm fucking invincible. Now in this game, I do do a lot of zoning. What zoning is? It's like a crossbreed of camping and rushing, running, gunning, rushing, whatever. And it's more of a you hold down specific spots of the map. Now on dome, I fucking hate this map, and I've stated this numerous times in all my past commentaries. So there's pretty much two lockdown spots on this map. You have exactly where I was at the beginning. And you have the fucking dome. And again, I hate this map. Now, I am playing with a buddy of mine, my buddy Matt. I've known him since the beginning of high school. And he likes to camp in the dome. So what do I do? I zone him out of his camping spot. And this is what does win me a lot of um, games on this map, is people love to camp this spot. People like to camp outside this spot. And because of my portal radar, which is like the best equipment in the game, I do get plenty of kills. Anyways... The new maps came out uh, last week for Modern Warfare 3. We've got two of them. Haven't played them yet, nor do I really care. If I play them, great. If I don't, I don't. I don't have Elite. I'm 1,700 points off because you can buy Elite with Microsoft points. It's 4,000 Microsoft points per a year of Elite. So I figured instead of spending 1,600 of my points that I already have on maps, I might as well wait and get 16, 1,700 more and just get them for free as well as all the other ones. Now this brings me to my next topic. There was a thread on the Call of Duty forums that had a list of everything that's coming out in the past coming months for XP. Next month, we are only getting one map. The month after, we are getting a map, a special ops mission, whether that be the actual spec ops or survival, it didn't really say. And we get a new game mode. Now, this is the purpose of me telling you this. The new game mode. They've already brought three in. They have Team Defender, Kill Confirmed, and Drop Zone. I love t Team Defender. Bleh. I love Kill Confirmed. And drop zone, it was fun, and I just turned on Matt like a boss. And he, he was raging at me for this, I went all straight try hard. But, drop zone is pretty much a clusterfuck. When I started playing it, all I would do is sit there, javelin in the drop zone, and get triples out the ass. Team Defender, you can go in there by yourself, but it's very hard to win a game, especially if you come across, say, like a team of three, four, or more, because a, a half a squad knows how to run things, and they can run things. And I honestly don't know what I was doing at the end of this game. I was really just trying to screw with people because I had uh, a 11 kill lead. Kill Confirm, you can definitely go in there solo and carry a team, as long as your team uh, doesn't die and knows how to pick up their attacks. But this brings me to my point. What's the next game type? What exactly are they going to do? So if you have any suggestions on what you think the next game type will be, leave that in the description below. I'm ITZ Padwani for TGNXP. Make sure you sub to TGNXP. Make sure you sub to me. I'm out of here. Peace it. This video is part of The Way Movement, a career path in video. Sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.TV.